Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Johnny coming back at you with another video and today is a little bit different because I'm actually going to be um, Basically, I haven't made a video for the past I think like week or so and the reason why is because I've been getting into RDA's rebuildable dripping atomizers um, These are the types where people build their own coils um, which now I've been getting super into that it is a bit of a learning curve, which is why I haven't made a video in quite a while, but you know, whatever. Today I'm going to be talking about the cotton. I'm basically, I've chosen this cotton to be like the cotton that I'm going to be using throughout basically my whole RDA career. You know, RDA, RTA, all that good stuff. Um, and it is the ba uh, cotton bacon, the prime edition. Um, so before I break open this and show you guys, um, I'm going to have videos doing actual reviews on all this, on myself and all the stuff that I do in the future. But I've got the um, Patriot RDA um, teamed up with the uh, Aspire Zelos X mod. It runs off a single 18650 and the 18650 I'm using is by Wintech or Winec or something like that and is their 2500 milliamp hour 18650 battery and um, it runs uh, it's rated for 20 amps of continuous discharge you know and it is a regulated mod so real quick I'm just going to oh it was already on oh my goodness all right so I'm going to be, so the coil is just a simple macro coil, you know, nothing nuts. It is 0 0.64 ohms. You guys can't read that, it's too bright. Um, but yeah, I just got this thing nice and, um, what was the, um, like I just built it and installed it and I just like sort of made it so that it's glowing from the middle outwards. very nice all right so while that's uh, cooling down i'm going to get some of the uh, product that we're reviewing the cotton bacon um in the pack there are 10 strips i'll show you one of the strips all right so hang on so it comes in like these strips and there's 10 of them in the pack in each strip like the way that I wick, you know, I get six wicks per strip. So this entire pack gives me about 60 wicks, um, which is a really good amount. Um, in case you didn't notice, I'm running a single coil um, in this particular one. Uh, I know, let's go with... The longer ones are generally easier to work with, so we're going to go with the longer one here. All right. After I do wick it up and everything, I am going to change the camera to like where I'm just sitting down in front of the camera, and I am going to vape on some e-liquid and talk about my experiences with it and stuff. Although first I need to get out my tweezers and the pliers in this, all right. Maybe it's better, oh. Unlocked, hang on guys. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, we are shutting down. And that's just gonna slowly fade out, okay. I don't like doing this while it's turned on. I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna go wrong. Um. But yeah, so my experiences with cotton bacon in general is um back in the day I used to have a friend who he this friend got me into RDAs initially um or at least interested in them and um he had the version two um of cotton bacon you know um because originally there was the original cotton bacon then there was the version two and then they came out with the prime so uh these cores are really small. You have to really thin out your cotton um, when you're loading it up. 
it's not the cotton's fault, it's my coils, I, I do them to millimetre diameter and it's not the greatest, alright, so, um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, he had the version 2 and that, I thought it gave me good flavour, that, you know, um, but this one, I can get some impeccable flavour from it, um, which flavors kind of is the reason why a lot of people get in to RDAs in general. Boom, then tug that back a little bit, right? I love doing this stuff, man. No, I guess I could put a little bit more. Boom. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, he used the version 2, not the Prime. And um, that was some really good cotton. I should have a pair of scissors in here. I do. Boom. So we are now going to cut the cotton. I was originally going to make this, I can edit, um, like me setting up the cotton and everything, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. Alright, let's just fluff this up a little more. The better you fluff it up, it's kind of like the more juice it will hold type of thing. So don't be afraid to go a little crazy with the fluffing all right now let's take off the extra okay now we are going to f at least what I do is I fold it underneath the um the coil tuck it in there now the oh, that's not even in camera sorry about that guys Right, boom. Tuck that in a little bit more. I feel like I could. There we go. Oh, yeah, now we're cooking with gas. But yeah, in general, it's really easy to work with this uh, cotton bacon. Okay, so the juice we are going to do. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Uh. Today we are going to be vaping on some seriously fruity apple and raspberry flavoured stuff. Um, it came as short fill, like it wasn't nicotine or anything else um, in it, but I added to it CBD, um, which I believe I did a video on that, like adding CBD to it. Alright, I know I'm not really doing this for the camera, I'm just wicking it. Um, I'm well, not wicking it, I'm, I'm juicing up the wick. Alright, give that a second to soak in. Add a little more. I haven't actually used this particular juice with an RDA, so this is going to be a very interesting experience for me. Mmm, it smells amazing. Alright, okay guys, so, wait, let me turn it on. It usually has a startup screen, I don't know why I didn't do that, alright, so, oh yeah, we're, we're, we're ready to go here. Alright, so I'm going to change the camera up, then I'm going to um, tell you guys what I think. Okay, so you in like, literally like 10 seconds. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, oh my goodness, my hair is doing something nuts right now, oh my goodness. But hey guys, so yeah, I'm going to take a couple of pulls off it. I'm vaping it at 18 watts. Um, like I said, 0.64 ohms, um, the coils. Um, and after I have a couple of puffs, I'm going to talk about the packaging. Then I'm going to talk about my opinions on it, you know. Um, so yeah. Oh. 
Dude, that juice tastes nut. Let me, let me, hang on. Let me, there you go. Do that. Mm. When it's in an RDA, you taste more raspberry than in a pod. You know what I'm saying? Dude, that ain't bad, though. That ain't bad. Alright, so, we're going to talk about the packaging, um, on the, f first of all, it's resealable, which is really cool, um, on the front of the packaging, it has their cotton bacon, with their logo, which is like a coil with the cotton through it, which is surrounded by a gold ring, which says Prime, um, the company that made it is called Wiccan Vape, and it's weight, like the pack, like how much is in there, is 10 grams of cotton, um, or 0 0.35 ounces, if you guys weigh in ounces, you know, um, and yeah, it's just a really nice matte black material, you know, the writing and all the logos and whatnot is kind of shiny, you know, all right, so on the back, it says cotton bacon prime along the top, and the description is our goal is to provide the most cutting edge, cleanest and easy to use uh, cotton wick. I second that notion, it was very easy to use. Um, cotton Bacon Prime outperforms in all areas of wicking, providing 33% faster absorption. Um, I mean, I haven't used a lot of other wick like wicks, so I can't really say anything about like faster wicking, you know. Um, all right, so 33% faster wick absorption, easier separation, and as always, three of, free of impurities, natural oils, pesticides, and completely tasteless, which is amazing. Um, it then has Wick and Vape, the company name, and under the and you know, underneath that, it says, not actual bacon, do not ingest. Do not use in a medical setting or situation. Like basically, if someone's been shot or stabbed, don't go like putting a bunch of this into their wound. You know, <laughs> um, it's made in the USA. Which, if that matters to you, you know, I, I don't really care. But you know, it also has the QR code of authenticity, and underneath the QR code has a little scratch thing, um, which has like a um, like a number that's like a serial number that's specific to your pack. You know, um. After that, it says Wiccan Vape LLC from Boys, Idaho, uh, wiccanvape.com. They're on Facebook and Instagram, and it just has the QR code. So, he yeah, has very nice, simple packaging. Um, my opinions on it is very positive. Um, before this, I was using, like, you know that type of wick that's like a string? And it's like really shit, like I, I don't want to swear, but it's like really shitty for absorption and stuff. I was using that, and this is miles better than that. Oh my goodness, the flavour, god damn. I tell you what, since I got into RDAs, I wasn't expecting this difference in flavour. Um, like I've like I like before this juice, my favourite juice I had was grape ice, and I've been vaping that a bunch in this. And God damn, man, Jesus, that is some good stuff, man. Um, it also holds liquid a good amount. Um, I can get about five to ten puffs, puffs. Yeah, puffs, I guess. Um, but I can get about five to ten puffs before I need to wee wick. Not wee wick. Wee drip. Um, ooh. Got some spit back there. That was kind of... Hmm, maybe my wattage is too high. I don't know. Like I said, I'm vaping this at uh, 18 watts. You know? Um... But yeah, man, um, like I was saying uh, a couple of minutes ago, uh, my experiences with cotton bacon in general is I tried their V2 once 
and this is one pound extra than that um like this was about 3.99 about four quid um the uh, the version two is was 2.99 or about three quid um um but you know like i like i like i was uh like that one i distinctly remember the friend i was with um had a hard time separating it especially if like one strip is too big for your coil so you've got to separate it this is way easy this at least to my recognition is way easier to separate than the uh, v2 um Dude, I'm looking forward to using this in the Bad Bunny RDA tank atomizer like this. There's one called the Bad Bunny V2. And I'm going to have a review on it when it comes and first impressions and all that good stuff. Um, or first impressions and a review. But um, the reason why I'm excited for that is because that was like made for dual coils. Like having two sets of coils, two sets of wicks. You know, so I'm excited to see how this wick um performs um I, I was just re-dripping um but i'm excited to see how that how it performs in the bad bunny um because this uh, uh what's it called the patriot rda this this rda um the holes for the coils are quite small so i can't actually fit the two coils to like run dual coils so um So, um, you know, I'm excited for the bad bunny. Um, the, the coil posts look like a bunny ear, like they, like go out like this. And then because the bottom is so high off the, uh, base of the, or the deck of the tank of the atomizer, um, you can actually leave a little bit of extra wire, you know, you don't have to clip them all the way up, like where you screw them in type thing. Oh yeah, now the coil is starting to get used to being fired up, you know, so it's like putting out a bit more vapour right now. Um, I am only vaping at 18 watts, like I said, so it's not putting out a ridiculous amount of vapour, but it is still pretty dang good, man. Um, I really love it, you know, since this is a vaping video, it shouldn't get, like, age-restricted, you know. Because one of my closest friends is underage, but he loves watching my videos, um... So when I do like a joint video, he can't actually watch it, which sucks, man. Because I think my joint videos are really good, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> YouTube apparently doesn't. God damn, man. Dude, seriously, shout out to, fr to Seriously Vapes, man. Um, Seriously Vapes, they... You know, they do a lot of different things. They have a donut line, like all different like um donut y type flavors. Um now they have one that's like specifically Nick Salts, you know, so if you like having Nick Salts, that's good. Um they have one like a line, um, because this one's the seriously fruity. Um then they have one which is what is it? I think it's like seriously nasty or something with like it's like nasty flavors, but I'm not saying they're bad flavors, but it's just like super in your face flavor, you know? Like those juices were made for RDAs type thing. Um Ooh. I'm not used to the amount of vapor that these things have. Like, it does irritate my chest a little bit. But I literally just got into RDAs. Oh goddamn! It's kind of it's kind of irritating a little bit, you know. Jeez. But yeah, so I'm reaching twenty minutes here. I don't want to keep you guys for too long. Or this this is technically too long. Um, I just wanted to make it like a genuine like me saying it up. You know, if I do a mistake, like there was that one point where I was kind of put it in, and I put it back out and re like thinned it out. I wanted to keep that all in here just for you guys to see like okay this is stuff that can happen um it's going to be the same thing when I start like making my own coils and all that good stuff like if I'm going to do a video like hey like let's chill and build coils together type video 
I want those videos to be like this one, you know, like a genuine, like, yo, like, this is what can happen, you know, um, but oh yeah, so I'm gonna just drip once more, it holds a good amount of juice, these, uh, this work, man, all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, like I said, this stuff is about three ninety nine, um, in the UK at least. Oh, I've got some hair in my eye or something in my eye. I've got something in my eye. All right, so remember to like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace out, guys.